And cleared away by Robert Taylor. Alfredo Morales battling for it. Nicholas Acevedo as well. And out coming in. Nice. With Santi Rodriguez. Wins it. Touches it ahead. Maxi Morales. Challenge comes in. Maxi on his feet. And he shoots and scores. Maxi Morales putting New York City in the lead. But that finish is just next level. It's brilliant from Maxi. Through the goalkeeper's legs. Fabulous finish. Good ball. Tavon Gray. Gabi Pereira finding Santi Rodriguez. Malde Amundsen coming in. Squares it across. And it's touched in by Ever. It went by Thiago Andrade. But Ever finds the back of the net. And it's 2-0 New York City. Great movement off the ball. Lovely cut back. A little fortunate with the ball. Deflected into the path. But that's what a striker should do. Be in the right place. Left of Celentano. Love it's on the service. Went for the near post. Celentano got a piece. And then it's buried by Teal Bunbury. His first goal of the season. He steps in for Mukhtar. And gives Nashville the lead on the road. And then Teal Bunbury. You'll just see him just falling back here. See three, four Nashville players just inside. See a, a free man if, if Kubo can find that space again. Kubo will send it outside of the 18. Barrial trying to hit it off the volley. Vasquez a header. Cincinnati is level at one. A lovely drawn up set piece. Puts the orange and blue in the back of the net. Off the ground and bounces, but after that, it's all about instinct. Bruno Vazquez knows exactly the space to attack. Does it with authority. Those two huge DP imports, Bernardeschi and Lorenzo Insigne from the Italian national team. Corner from Wagner. Lesnarsko! Daniel Gazdan! Upside. And the flag is up. Yep. A very late offside flag. They will look at it. Well, obviously, this is going to be a difficult angle. This won't tell us anything because we've already seen that right there, it looks like it's offside. But we do not see. Now, Michael Bradley. Okay. This is Jimenez. Jimenez pulls it back for Jonathan Osorio. And that will take a deflection and it's in. A fortuitous goal. Just tries to clear that there, it's wild, it's in towards the body of Azorio and it just comes off the TFC midfielder. As loud and energetic inside BMO Field as it has been for a few years, maybe even since the 2017 MLS Cup run. Yep. Bernadeschi standing over this, the left foot corner into the front post, Bradley flicks it on, it's 2-0 inside 10 minutes, it's Michael Bradley the captain with the goal. It's a little slimpier from Bernadeschi, that's why it's so short. And Bradley comes out to the edge of the six-yard box. This is just an impossible header to get it in the back. Mark Anthony K. Bernadeschi from distance! On his debut! Federico Bernadeschi from long range! Gets Toronto FC's third! In a central position. This is one touch, a little look up, and back, beautiful strike. Sorio battling for it, wins it back. Mark Anthony K. Insigne, lovely ball into the path of Michael Bradley. Bradley going all the way! Wonderful from Toronto FC. Lorenzo Insigne at the centre of it, and Michael Bradley has his second goal of the night. TFC with four. Like he's going to pass it inside, but he just drags it forward, and then once he's there, bearing down on Kalina. Boy, uh, they, they, they're still celebrating it. Just a wonderful goal.
And he was also involved in the first goal for D.C. United as they lost 6-2 to Bayern Munich. Back to Donovan Pines, who's making his 50th start, but Kyoto steals it. Romo is out. Pines trying to recover. Kyoto gets a shot off and scores. CF Montreal, the ambush. A turnover, and D.C. United has to pay dearly. You thought maybe holding them up was going to lead to a red card. Kyoto going down. Kyoto rides a challenge. Donovan Pai goes to ground. The touch just goes wide of the right post, but the cut back. Kyoto just in between Samake and Birnbaum. Just asking for the ball. There it is. Kyoto. Kyoto! That's a goal. And that's his second. And it's Montreal's second one. He wanted it, he got it, he scored it. And you can see him just taking up position. He sees Birnbaum stepping into the midfield to follow Mihailovic and Samake just pointing to Birnbaum before this ball. Jackson Hopkins. Is he looking for that moment? Looking for Birnbaum! I just me what a ball it is from Hopkins. Pantamis can't come out for it. It lands just about the penalty spot. Well, he's got to be careful. He's got a yellow driving this one forward here now as Minnesota United. Long way. Be careful. Clark is out. There's an empty net that's stuffed in. It is 1-0 Minnesota United. It is a huge road goal for them. And it comes on the stroke of halftime here. Adam Lundquist, and you said it, Glenn. And how about the run and the movement from Tragapani? Tim Parker doesn't see him coming. And he just gets that pace in. How about the just the weight of the pass in behind? By the way, Adrian Heath has got a new two-year contract. And listen, he's had his pressure in Minnesota. Hansen just gliding into the middle now pretty effortlessly. Here's Minnesota United. you got to get a block here. It's in. It's a second goal. It's pounded in. It's a 2-0 lead here. And Minnesota United has come here to Houston, and they are creating real problems. What you do, you show them wide. It is four versus two in the middle of the field. Let him take it to the end line and cross it, but give him a lot of credit. Long Wayne, he takes it back inside. Player recruitment. Looking to make things happen during the transfer window. Only competitive side to the Houston Dynamo this year, which includes new positions. Pico, yes! Ooh. It's game on here. Fafa Pico, it jumps off his right foot in the 86th minute. Well, I mean, the resiliency the Houston Dynamo have shown all season is showing up again here with Fafa Pico. He loves it. Cuts inside. There's really no pressure on him whatsoever. The all-new sporting pay and much more. The Sporting KC app is free and available now through Apple and Google Play stores. Download it today. Here comes LAFC, and it's Arango blasting it home for LAFC. Chicho Arango with authority. And that makes it three straight games for Arango with a goal, and LAFC have charged in front. Poku drives at that defense. Sporting Kansas City, Arango hits this one with so much pace. Arango, and he's got Bale with him, and he gets it out to Bale. Here's Gareth Bale against DC. And he sneaks it past Crepo and in. Gareth Bale announces his presence and opens his MLS account. And that should just about put it away for LAFC. Great job again. Arango holds up the ball. It's around Fontas. Plays it over to Gareth Bale. Great movement. I was isolated one-on-one -on -one against EC. Knows that Gareth Bale wants to cut inside, get on that left foot. It's just so good. And then just that quick release, that snap release there. Beats John Polskamp near post.
That's why LAFC went out and got a player like Gareth Bale. Hey, there's nothing like a summer night at the Riot. RSL mini ticket plans are available now. Customize your plan at RSL.com. Oh, and RSL losing the ball on the throw-in. Ferreira, the dummy. Paul McCall back for Ferreira. Ferreira, and Dallas takes the lead. Ferreira's 12th goal. And Paul McCall with the assist, his fourth of the year. Justin Miram gets it picked from Ariola. And he just slides it across. Nobody gets it. Pomacol sees the diagonal run. Ferreira, just great work from him. Dig it out of your feet, pass it into the corner. Even pointing to the spot there to play it into that channel. Great finish from Ferreira. It would have been harsh, to be honest with you. It would have been harsh, yeah. but risky. Ball in the line here, Lewis, and Fry comes off his line. And this one is in. It looks over the line, and that, I'd imagine, will be given. It's a goal. It's a super run. From Jonathan Lewis, who got two assists last week, and after the fast start from the Sounders, they're caught napping defensively again. And then making those little individual errors where you just lose concentration, and yeah, you let a player run in free, unmarked. The Derek road to Warren Brewer, a bit of a cut in set first this time, but illegally so, and Robin Pager. Yeah, I'm not sure yeah, about that one. Right. Right. I, I thought a Bubakar had good position, but I like playing it quickly. Madranda, he gets in behind Madranda, the ball plays for Mora! But the question mark will be a super finish. It's not easy. The little finesse, keepers coming out there. It was going to take something a little bit special, a little bit out of the box, and Jordan Morris is the man to provide it. Curtis medal in CONCACAF Champions League play from the penalty spot. The biggest of testing circumstances. Now to try and give the Sounders the lead. Down a man. But up a goal. some character now. Jordan, Jordan forcing Yarbrough into the save. Yarbrough can't keep it close enough, and then Jordan follows up well. Balls into that number 10 in Shakiri, but the Whitecaps aren't really biting there. I said in previous games, sometimes the Whitecaps get good organization, good shape, but then they need to go and win the ball, but not at the expense. Aaron Brown, and it's cut in! The fire strike early in this one. And it is Shakiri. And it's a giveaway. And as it's played into Shakiri again, nobody near him. And he can just guide this one in. Dahoma uses that wide body to create some space. And now he's had a head for Gadinho. All sorts of space for him in the corner. Gold is there. One touch. It's wide. Unmarked at the far post, the Whitecaps are able to equalize with a beautiful goal just eight minutes into the half. No driving ball pops up now in the middle of the area. Caps have to be careful. Shoulder to shoulder there is Mueller and Nerwinski. Floated back. Bounced in past Bowler and Chicago is back on top. And he has done it again. Rafa Shihus. The third consecutive game he scored from a header. Nowinski here looked to have perhaps won the ball, but it's a good challenge for Mueller to keep it alive. And then he just stands it up in a dangerous spot. Keeper can't come out for it. And the fire away. Shakiri looking to put the nail in the coffin here on this one. Wide for Mueller. Mueller right for. Three points, or certainly a single point for the Whitecaps. It's three. No chance in the top corner from in close. Sweetly struck, and the dagger in the heart of the Whitecaps in the 90th plus minute here. Jeff Campbell, the video assistant referee, would have checked that. No review. Espinosa in off. Oh, Ivicic again. 
and it's put in by Kikanovic off of Mabiala. The Earthquakes get their opener. Despite Ali Azimicic's best efforts, it is 1-0 San Jose. We talked about set pieces, Jake. They've got two on the ball and they've gone quick into Young. The big one too. Ali Az does a great job to parry it out, but and does a great job in giving away the yellow card to remedy for stopping a black breakaway. Oh, it's in! The deflection works out! The Timbers equalize! Maybe not quite how it was drawn up, but they will take it! 1-1! Moreno turns. Jimmy Chara. Moreno looking for Espria. Wins the header. Oh, die on Espria. Don't go at him. It's 2 1. Timber set the lead. Well, we all know how good Dion is with his head. And you put it in the right position for him, and he will go and win it. Marie tries to just body him, he tries to not let him jump. What happens when Austin FC score that first goal, the crowd gets into it, and they're trying to take the crowd out of it by taking some of the key players and stars out of it by compressing the space and double pressing. But still, the Red Bulls are flooding forward, and this time Tarbell's mistake is going to haunt him, and that one is going to count. It's Serge and Goma. Well, it's been coming, isn't it? The Red Bulls have been dominant from the start. Plenty of traveling fans here, and Andrew Tarbell with a horrible moment in front of the Austin faithful. You got to feel for Andrew Tarbell and Goma gets in a good spot in the half space and when he hits this, I wonder if that ball just knuckles at the last second. Long very good in the air. Cascante getting in front of Aaron Long and forcing the foul. Oh, another turnover and has Klimala on his way. And Klimala shots! Well, that'll be a confidence boosting save for Andrew Tarbell, but it's picked off again. This is really sloppy defensive work from Austin and they're punished! Oh my word, the New York Red Bulls are on the rampage here. And it's Drew Yearwood. What a finish from him. Frozen out since June the 11th for this team. Doesn't take a look over his shoulder, and Yearwood outmuscles him. And when he gets that half space. And sends in the cross towards Ring. It's Driussi, got hold of that one! And there it is! Oh, yes! Sweet as you like! Put his name up in lights! The talented Mr. Driussi, starring in Austin! Fagundes targeting Alex Ring, but it's all about Sebastian Driussi. He had another volley before this, where he scuffed it, but he gets all of this, hitting it through traffic. Fernandez wants to cut on his right foot, but Alex Ring there to the rescue. Another pass that was easily picked off by Yearwood, and there's a chance here for the Red Bulls, and it's 3-1. And again, Austin only have themselves to blame. What a finish by Cameron Harper. They're finding different names to appear on the score sheet tonight for the Red Bulls. And Austin have conceded three at home, and all three have involved an element of defensive culpability. Yearwood takes a look over his shoulder, know he has space, and he glides that pass into the running lane of Cameron Harper. He commits Ruben Gabrielson. And that's going to happen when that ball doesn't fall down enough for him to connect with it. But still, some gaps at the back, and will it be punished again? It will! And Tom Barlow has helped himself, and the New York Red Bulls are having an absolute field day. The Red Bulls running riot in Austin. As the defense has just crumbled away for the Verde and Black, and it's 4-1. Keep an eye on Barlow. As soon as he sees that ball's going to fall to Harper, he's off to the races and gets just enough of a touch to commit. Red Bulls midfield, isn't it? It's Fagundes. Sets up, ring, let the ball slip under his foot. And now he has it back. Triussi. Taking it on, and taking it again! Well, he's a miracle worker! 
Are you kidding me with this goal? Sebastian Triussi skins Drew Yearwood, sends him back to North Jersey. In Liga MX, Carozo played in the CONCACAF Champions League final against the Seattle Sounders. He's calling for it here, Driussi giving it to him, Carozo! Oh yes, it's Finley! And it's 4-3! And Austin are right back in it! And Carozo has an assist immediately upon starting his Austin career. And Ethan Finley sends the Verde in Black Army. And Sebastian Triussi uses Julio Cascante as a screen, and it's actually Cascante that gets the header on that. Since Aaron Long has gone out. They're pressing up high, trying to win the ball back, and having pretty good success so far. With Ellison again from Chicharito, Douglas Costa now into the middle, Chicharito saved! Follow-up to goal from Cabral! First goal since October for Kevin Cabral! Chicharito, you're expecting him to roll this into the back of the net. Doesn't get the best contact on it, and Rios Nova spills it. Final whistle is coming soon. Galaxy desperate to hear a day on Jovalich. Does he ice it or does he go for the corner? Jovalich scores! the bench and showing Greg Vanny once again why he feels he should be in the starting lineup. Just a lethal finish.